it's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight Good morning friends! I hope you are well and having a nice start to your day I just finished getting ready. I've just been kind of doing some computer work and errands around the house this morning. Started some laundry. I gotta go put it in the dryer and start another load. We have lots of laundry. I'm doing all the sheets and stuff today, which laundry is probably my favorite household chore. I just really love the end product. You just, you know, fresh sheets and all my clothes put away. And I need to organize my closet because I have a big old pile of clothes just on the ground so we'll probably get that done later and I also am gonna run some errands gotta get a few groceries but we also have HelloFresh coming tonight so I don't have to worry about dinner but just like you know the other things we need and I'm also gonna stop in a couple home decor stores and I'm working on sourcing and kind of mapping out a design for under the stairs because if you didn't know we have like this little storage closet under the stairs but it has this really cute small door on the other side in our living room and we're gonna be turning that into Palmer's little room so I'm really excited about it I was working on it last night and I love how it's coming together so gonna work on that and just you know some other things around the house but I'm really excited to spend the day with you all. just parked at Joann's. This is my first stop on my little errand run and I haven't been to Joann's in so long. I used to go in high school pretty much every single week because I was always making a craft like non-stop I was always hosting like these little parties I would do a fall party a Valentine's Galentine's party all these different things so I was always making crafts and so coming here is always super nostalgic and the reason why I'm here is because I saw these really really beautiful pots that they have on Instagram so I'm gonna see if they have them in stock so basically I'm looking at their decor not even their craft supplies so we'll see I hope they have it because I have a specific spot where I want to put it and it's like exactly what I've been looking for so fingers crossed and then we're gonna go over to world market because I have a curbside pickup for something I ordered for the under the stairs closet makeover and then I also just want to browse through there because I love world market it's definitely one of my favorite like more affordable home decor places to shop so if you guys are like looking for a good place to find affordable yet unique and really beautiful pieces definitely check out world market so that's the plan let's go see what they have Lots of cute outdoor stuff, fun. This is a really pretty tray, I like it. I have nowhere to put it, but I like it. This is kind of like the mat that we have on our front porch. I really, really love the rope design. Oh my goodness, okay, this is the one I was looking for. It's in another kind of basket thing, but this is what it looks like cute I only see one in this section so I'm gonna walk around some more if I see um, kind of more size options but I think this one <laughs> might work I almost dropped it I really love the dog appreciation in this store I'm actually so happy I came in here because all of this stuff is so perfect for the under the stairs um, project because it's gonna be Palmer's room so that we have all this dog stuff Yay, so perfect. This is really adorable. I definitely want to grab one of these. But I see there's a little imperfection, so we'll get a different one. Kind of looks like Palmer too. So precious. Truly want all of the gardening stuff. Look how cute these little um, name plates are. I don't think they're really called that, but tags for your little herbs. Adorable. This is a super cute birdhouse. 
They even have all of these dog clothing and just accessories. So cute for the 4th of July. Okay, that shopping trip was pure serendipity, I feel like, because one, I found that. Oh, so, oh, so okay. Just jam into Olivia Rodrigo. Um, but one, I found that pot I was looking for, and that was the last one. Like, I, I didn't walk through the whole store, and maybe they had some in the back, but that was the only one out, and it was the exact size I was looking for. So hopefully it'll, I'll show you guys where I want to put it later once we get back home. But that was a win. And then the dog stuff, it's so funny, because on my to-do list today is to source everything for that project and video. I'll be doing a whole video about it. So I just want to, like, get everything ordered and put together so that that once we will have everything we need when we film it and do the whole thing so like what are the odds they have that whole little dog collection so I grabbed a couple things from that and they work so well with like the color palette I'm going for I'll show you guys like the mood board I have once we get home but that was definitely a good time and now we'll see what world market has in store I love this coffee table and I also love the floor pillows. I ordered my floor pillows from Urban Outfitters, but they really have great ones here. I also found these really pretty taper candles, which I think I'm gonna grab. They're $4.99, so really beautiful. too crazy from the grocery store i did pick up this multi-surface cleaner though which i've gotten this brand before and i really like it but i haven't purchased this scent before and i was having trouble like smelling it in the store i wanted to twist it off a little bit to smell it but it's really hard to twist off and my hands were full and stuff so i couldn't smell it but i really want to do a little smell test now to see if i like this scent Okay, I like it. I like it. It's definitely not, ooh, that's so yummy, but it's it's pretty kind of subtle and just a nice little clean smell, so it's good, but I have had the lemon and mint scent before, and I think that one, I like that one a little bit more. Another thing I picked up that's exciting that I want to try right now is this Chobani Coffee Cold Brew with Sweet Creamer, so it just looked really fun. <laughs> I've tried their creamers before and they're good, but the thing is with this, with their creamers, they are dairy creamers, so I feel like you have to, you know, eat it super quickly or drink it super quickly before it goes bad. That's why I love like the coconut milk creamers and stuff, but they didn't have my favorite creamer, so I kind of thought we could just get this, try this, and I have a feeling it's going to be pretty sweet, so I can kind of use it as a creamer to just add in with black coffee. So let's give it a shot for some iced coffee time. office today but maybe if he gets home soon I can make him a coffee a pre-dinner coffee so unfortunately it's a bit too sweet for me which I kind of could tell by just looking at the color of it that it would be too sweet but my plan of just like splashing a bit of this over some black coffee I think will be a great combo and I actually do have some black coffee so I'm gonna do that right now and I think that'll be fabulous I'm here to stay every single day. Yeah. Okay, let me show you what I picked up. So, first and foremost, you saw how excited I was about this planter. 
and I'll go upstairs in a second to show you where I want to put it. It's going to look way better than the planter I have now. I purchased one from Target last week or the week before, and it's just not proportional with the tree I have in our master bedroom at all. So this is going to look much better. At least I hope so. In my head, it looks a lot better, but we'll see for sure. And then again, I'm so excited about all this dog stuff that they had at Joanne's. That was just so random to me. I was not expecting to, I was just expecting to order everything for Palmer's under the stairs room online because it's kind of a, you know, a unique thing, but they had this fun stuff and it's so cute because this looks like Palmer. It's like the same size of him, the same shape ears, the same tail. So it just was a match made in heaven. And then I also picked up this pillow because I think that'll be really cute. I can kind of layer this on his dog bed and just make it super cozy, of course. And then World Market, I did end up getting these candles and we'll go see what they look like in my taper candle holders. So we'll do that in a second. And then the last thing, this is what I had for mobile pickup or curbside pickup. And it's way bigger than I was expecting. It's huge. I was expecting it to be like half the size. I'm not complaining though. I think it's great and it was such a wonderful price. And this is actually going to be for under the stairs as well. But I mean, this is really cute guys. You could use this. I would love to use this one day for like a kid's playroom. I think this would be perfect for that. Like put little toys and stuff or it'd even be cute in the garage for like, you know, storing gardening supplies and stuff like that. Probably, you could probably think of some more things to do, but I'm just gonna use this in the closet for storage and random kind of knickknacks and gadgets and gizmos, you know. So that's everything I picked up, but super excited about it all. I ordered a piece of artwork for this little console table to go over the console table. And then I'm actually going to put a full length mirror here. So it's going to be like full length mirror and then the console table moment and we'll kind of keep styling it. I kind of am still in the brainstorming process, but super excited for the piece of art. It's very coastal and just calming. And then we already have taper candles that I'm totally going to use. I'll probably use these like when we have people over or like a little Little dinner party or something um, but then I'll have these for just like most of the time as decor because they're more interesting and just textured I really think they'll look pretty oh no they're not balancing oh no bummer Wah, wah, wah. It's so funny because I thought they would actually balance better because they look thicker, but these are, you know, thicker at the bottom and then thinner at the top. So I'm really surprised by that. It's just interesting because the bottom is so um, kind of long, I guess you would say. I almost want to try to just cut it and see if it balance more. Should we try that or am I crazy? Also, this is super random, but I'm very curious if this has ever happened to any of you all. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I have this like mark on my hand and it's been an interesting thing because when I first noticed it, it was red and it looked like a sunburn. So it was just like the same size and everything, but it was like a light pink reddish color. Again, looked like a sunburn. And so I didn't really think much of it. And I honestly thought it was from holding Palmer's dog leash because I hold it like this and when we're walking. And so I was like, oh, that's funny. Like, it's just like a dog leash tan. But then it wasn't going away like a normal sunburn. And now it's changed to like this kind of, you know, darker color. And I looked it up because I was just a little curious about it and wondering, you know, if I should go to the dermatologist. And basically I found this post and they were saying it was like the same exact thing. And they were saying it, they went to their dermatologist and it was caused by lime or lemon. Like basically it's a lime burn or lemon burn where, but then I looked up lime burn and it looked a lot worse than this is. So I'm still confused, but if it doesn't go away like soon ish, I'll go to the dermatologist, but it doesn't hurt at all. It's just kind of strange. Like it's the same texture as all of my other skin, but it's just like, discolored so i don't know it's very strange but if you guys notice it that's what it is i don't really know what it is but i think it 
is from like citrus and then vitamin D combination on my skin. Again, not totally sure, but from my research, from my internet research, that's the conclusion I've come to and it makes sense because I'm always squeezing limes and lemons for different things, so who knows, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. Hopefully it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna just try to cut the bottoms of these with a big old knife on a cutting board like a carrot. We'll see what happens. Here goes nothing. I feel like I need to do quite a bit of it. Oh boy. Oh, that actually worked pretty well. Let's go see if it fits better now. It's not the most even cut. Okay, it's still very wobbly. Oh, but it's it's staying. Looks a little lopsided though. Hmm. Okay, I'll try to cut it more evenly. We just got home in time to enjoy a nice, refreshing iced coffee. He's curious about the Chobani. Are you gonna try it? It's sweet, yeah, you have to mix it in. Here. I'm a sports comp. Taste test, taste test, taste test. He opens the lock alum. <laughs> he goes for a pour. <laughs> oh no, there's not enough for a whole oh, glass. Oh no. <gasps> Da -da -da. Good thing you your girl. Me. Good thing your girl's got your back with an unlimited supply Look of coffee. Look it up. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> you have to spill out iced coffee time. It's not iced coffee time if I'm there's sure. not some spillage. <laughs> oh jeez. All right. <laughs> this is too messy. <laughs> Chaotic energy over here. Oh, wow, straight out of the curtain, okay. I didn't know we did that around here. <laughs> Where are you, Ben? <laughs> what do you think, you like it? Yeah, I'm using it as a creamer. Yeah, this one and the, the other one that we have. In oh, there. the La Colombe Mocha. Oh, the Califia it Farms. It tastes like chocolate milk. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll be the perfect sweetness for you, though. Cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers. I've already been sipping on mine for like an hour. He made himself a nice snack too. Looks good. I might need to sneak some. I wanted to show you guys this new pot. So <laughs> this is the olive tree and I purchased this little pot from Target, but it's just way too small. It's not proportional whatsoever. I like the pot. I think it's cute. What are you doing? <laughs> he just came in there. He's buying. Um, I like it, but yeah, it just is too small for, I mean, it fits, but it just doesn't look proportional to me. So I think this will look much better and I'll definitely use this pot for another plant. So let's switch it out. Do a little switcheroo. So hold me tight through the night. because every time Brandon comes down the stairs, <laughs> he has to look for me because most likely I'm in a different spot working because I'll work in my office, I'll work at the bar, I'll work at our dining table back there and it took him a second to find me today. He's like, where are you? Just always hopping around. Okay, so here's my little mood board I put together for <laughs> the under the stairs makeover, Palm, AKA Palmer's room. So it's not really much, but just have some components, some ideas so far. I ordered this wallpaper and I'm only gonna put it on like a little section of the room, but I think it'll add a nice pop of color and it really works well with the pillow I picked up today. So that's amazing. And then this is supposed to be that little, you know, piece of art decor I picked up today, but I couldn't find the exact one, but you get the gist. And then I wanna get both of these lights. Well, I actually already ordered them and they're really, really cute. Well, I actually didn't order this exact one I just ordered it in white because it was extremely cheaper and I ordered some antique brass paint and I'm gonna try to DIY kind of this same look so that they 
you know, work well together. And I don't have hard wiring where I want to put these lights, but I'm going to try this home bloggers method called the magic light trick. Her name's um, Nesting with Grace. She's shared it and I've seen it so many times and I've always wanted to try it. But basically you take a light that you usually would have to hardwire and you add a little battery operated light that comes with a remote. And basically you just put it in the light somewhere and use the remote to turn it on and off and just change the batteries when needed instead of actually hardwiring the light into the wall and hiring an electrician. So excited for this. I definitely wanted to get a head start. The video won't be out until later this month, but I want to just make sure I have everything we need and make sure kind of troubleshoot any problems. If there are any problems with the light little DIY. So I'm very excited and I'm glad I got that all ordered and have that done off the to-do list. And now I'm just going to sit here a little longer and answer some emails. And Brandon actually just went out to mow the lawn that's been on his list. So he's getting it done. And my camera's really bright right now, but it's actually quite overcast. It looks like it could rain any second, but I checked the forecast and it doesn't say it's going to rain. I honestly would love if it rained, not for Brandon because he's mowing the lawn, but I just have been craving a cozy little rain rainstorm and you know typically this time of year in Florida we have rain every single day but it hasn't started yet I feel like usually it starts by now but it really the summer showers haven't started yet but I'm really looking forward to it especially now that we have our trellis back there our star jasmine it's so thirsty so I water it so much but once it starts raining more I won't have to water it as much and I'll just have like a natural little rain shower which probably is healthier for it than just the hose water just rain fresh from the clouds is probably much better for our plants so we'll see but excited for some cozy rainy moments soon look at that cutie in his push mower so old school Falling into your arms Dancing up in the sky. excited and like I mentioned we have HelloFresh tonight and I'm so thankful they are sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you've watched my vlogs for a while you know I love HelloFresh. We've been ordering their vegetarian meal kit for years now and it is seriously so delicious and even though I love like food and cooking and meal planning I really enjoy kind of taking a break from having to worry about it or think about it and it just gets delivered right to my door and I have everything I need so super super fabulous these are the meals that we have I think I'm gonna do the Mexicali black bean soup tonight because that just sounds really cozy and like I mentioned it's pretty overcast today so I think that's the move but these other two sound so delicious we have a sun-dried tomato spaghetti yum and then Middle Eastern chickpea bowls I absolutely Middle Eastern food is my favorite kind of food so super excited for this one as well but it's gonna be a black bean soup kind of night. So if you haven't heard of HelloFresh, they are America's number one meal kit and they really offer so many recipes to choose from each week and they help you kind of break out of your recipe rut. And with HelloFresh, the produce actually gets to you faster than a grocery store. So it arrives at peak freshness and flavor, which is really important to me. And also if you're booked and busy, HelloFresh really helps you save time because they cut out any stressful meal planning and prepping. All you have to do is just enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes. Tonight's recipe, it has a cook time of 20 minutes. So that is super quick and simple. HelloFresh can also help you eat more sustainably because with their pre-portioned ingredients, that means there's less prep for you and there's less food wasted. They are also super flexible and made to fit your lifestyle, so if you need to, you can easily change your delivery days or food preferences and even skip a week whenever you need to. But best of all, HelloFresh is committed to giving back. HelloFresh has donated over 4 million meals to charity in 2020 and they are continuing to step up their food donations. 
So I'm gonna get cooking, but if you'd like to check out HelloFresh, you can go to hellofresh.com and use my code BAKERSTAFF12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. Look at this culinary masterpiece. Yum, I'm so excited to eat this. Again, if you'd like to try HelloFresh, you can go to hellofresh.com and use my code BAKERSTAFF12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. Bon appetit. favorite and I'm almost done with the laundry I have a few more things in the dryer but almost done with that and I am just going to do some planning now I have my monthly planning list I started this yesterday which was the first day of June and now it's June 2nd and I just want to finish it out um, I like to do this at the beginning or right before the beginning of each month and just map out all my videos and just like you know random things but I mainly do it for video planning so while we're talking about that let me know if there are any specific videos that you're really hoping to see this month and I'll add it to the list so that's what I'm gonna do now and I might start this book the love story of Missy Carmichael haven't heard much about it but I picked it up from the library so we'll see maybe I'll check it out on Goodreads but it looks pretty interesting so yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the night, but thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. I really hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week, and I cannot wait to see you super soon. Bye! I just feel so lucky.